Hello everyone, it's Kei. How's it going today? So this is the uh, 4th of November 2020 on Wednesday. So today is another recorded video day. So recently, well actually from this month of November, I decided to record some videos and upload on the Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Saturdays because um, so that I can present my strategy or my concept briefly in these recorded videos so that you can understand what I say on the public lives when I do the live streams. So when you come to my website, there is a um, YouTube public schedule and also uh, YouTube uh, Ichimoku membership live stream schedule. So and you can find a whole um, like a list of um, the talks or topics that I will be talking about in, in this month of November. So today is the 4th of November, so I decided to talk about my concept of KTS. KTS is actually my strategy, uh, which, is, which is a case trading strategy. I just name it KTS, and I will talk about this strategy of my own. I use Ichimoku to capture trends in multiple time frames and capture trading edges in even lower time frames, 5 or 15 minute time frames. So, um, I would like to briefly introduce uh, my strategy so that you will know how I look at the charts and analyze charts on my future public lives or membership lives. So, um, before starting anything here, just briefly, as a disclaimer, this information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So I have the PDF um, here. It's a downloadable from the link below description. So make sure you have the PDF when you watch this video or my future lives. But um, you can have this PDF and this is called the Case Trading Strategy KTS. So I am a Forex trader, first of all, full time in Tokyo. And I only take major pairs, major forex pairs, and I look at the multiple time frames. Um, before, I used to look at only one time frame daily chart to take trades, but um, if I was doing it, uh, my stop losses were quite wide, and also, um, you know, I wasn't really able to capture trending market by looking at one single time frame, and that's why. I came to an idea of looking at the market in multiple time frames so that um, I can avoid these retracements, the potential retracements along the way the market goes up or down on higher time frames. So this is what I do every day. So every day I look at the chart, uh, I look at the major forex pairs on at uh, 9 a.m. in Japan time, 9 to 10 a.m. in Japan time and also I will watch chart, recheck uh, at uh, 4 or 5 p.m. in Japan time, which is a uh, London session open. And also, I will recheck the chart again at uh, like 9 or 10 p.m. Japan time, which is also the New York session time starts. So um, basically, I look at uh, like the charts on these three timings. Um, sometimes I give some extra uh, time to uh, analyze, so three to five times a day, I look at the charts, these markets, and I look at this, I monitor these pairs, usually 9 to 10, like 8 to 10 pairs, major pairs, and if I happen to see these trending markets, then I will look for the trading edges, but if not, then I will just stay away from the chart until I see it next time. So, um, and I, so I have these uh, 10 pairs or 9 pairs, and um, it only takes like a five minutes for me to see which one is trending, which one is not. And, and so this is the essence of my KTS strategy, is that you can save a lot of time analyzing it to confirm whether this is up, uptrending or downtrending or no trends. So let me show you how I capture the trends. So um, so here it says in, in, in this PDF, I look at the daily chart or forever chart to capture the bigger time frame as a major trend direction. So here is Euro USD. So once again, this is the 4th of November uh, 2020, and this is Euro USD daily chart. And here I have the five lines of Ichimoku 
But、um, let me cancel the,、uh, the Tenkan-sen and the Chikospan to simplify the trend direction. So, and here we see、uh, the Kumo is going down.、Um, the upper part of the Kumo, when it's bearish, is called the Senkospan B. And the lower part of the Kumo, when it's bearish, is called the Senkospan A. And also the green line. Is called Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen. So、um, I look at the Senko Span BA and Kijun Sen angles to capture the trending market. So right now, at a glance, I know that this is down trending simply because the Senko Span B down and A is down, and also Kijun Sen is down, and the price below the Kumo.、Um, you don't want to take trades when the price is in the Kumo. So, make sure that the price is either below or above the Kumo. So, this is a downtrend confirmation. So, this is a market where I look at the lower time frames to confirm this downtrend. So, so, this is what I used to do. I used to only look at the daily chart and take trades. So, as soon as I see this downtrending of this、um, Senko Span B, Kijun Sen down, A down, And also, Chikou Span below the candles and Tenkan Sen also down. I used to take a sell. But sometimes the market goes up still. Well, in this case, there is a recent support line in this area of 1.161 area. So the price might bounce off of it. But,、um, anyways, you know, if I don't see any of these support lines, then I was expecting the market go down. Especially when I see this Sanyaku Gyakuten signal, I was expecting the market go down. So, Immediately, I took a sell, and usually the market went up backwards against my direction, and I get stopped up many times. So, I was thinking how to avoid these potential retracements, right? I, I want the market to go towards my direction, and I came to the idea of multiple time frame analysis afterwards. So,、um, so once again,、uh, coming back to the topic, I confirmed this downtrend simply Senko Span B down, A down. And Kijun Sen down, but、um, we have to take one, one more step to confirm this. So、um, you look at the lower time frame. So let's look at, so you com we confirm the daily chart downtrending here. Daily chart to be downtrending, so you can move down to either one hour or 30 and see which one of these time frames are also pointing down. So, this is a power of confirmation to avoid this potential retracement against the major trend direction. So, let's look at the one hour and also the 30 minute chart and see which one of these time frames are pointing down, downtrending by Kumo and Kijun Sen also. So, same chart,、um, Euro USD.、Um, we'll look at the first one hour chart. And let's see what we can find. So, here is one hour chart of、uh, Euro USD. And at a glance, you know that this is flat, no trend. Simply because the Senko Span AB, well, actually, in this case, they are at the same level、um, and very thin, but they, they are flat. Senko Span BA flat. And also, Kijun Sen, if you look at it, Kijun Sen is also flat. So, this is not downtrending. By simply by this Kumo and Kijun Sen angles, and this is where I wait until Kumo go down and also Kijun Sen go down in one hour chart. So, as the price goes down gradually this way, at some point the Kumo and Kijun Sen start to go down, and that's when I look for the sell chance, in even in lower time frames, 5 or 15 minute chart. But here, although we see some、um, Small downtrend right now on this bearish candle. On this, the most recent candle is bearish, so you might think that this is going down, but actually, the Kumo and Kijun Sen still shows that this is flat. So that means、uh, the price may come back to the Kumo or Kijun Sen. There's a potential retracement to the Kijun Sen because whenever you see Kijun Sen or Kumo to be flat. That's, that shows that the price can come back to Kumo or Kijun Sen. And that's why I don't want to look for sell chance right now. 
because of this potential retracement still on this one hour chart. So this is one hour. So let's look at the 30 and compare uh, if the 30 minute chart is downtrending or not. So here's a 30 minute chart. And here we see what we can see is that uh, this is uh, also no trend. The reason is because we can see that the Kumo Senkospan B is flat right now. Um, Senkospan A is going down, which is good news. But the thing is that the Kijun Sen is flat. The Kijun Sen is flat. So when you see Senkospan B and also the Kijun Sen flat, then uh, the price may come back to Kumo or Kijun Sen. So in this case, in 30 minute chart, I would wait for the Kijun Sen to go down to look for the sell chance in lower time frames. And this is how I wait until I confirm the decent downtrend in this case. So the price is going down now, the market is going down. So uh, it, might, it may continue to go down this way. But we never know, we never know. It might retrace backwards also because of this flat Kijun Sen and flat single span B. So I would just, and that's why I wait until Kijun Sen go down. And then uh, Senko Span A is already down, so it's okay. So if I just capture this Kijun Sen down, then I will start to look for the sell chance finally. But if it, if it doesn't happen, then I won't take any trace. So that's how I confirm this downtrend or uptrend by looking at the higher time frames. So, so right now, once again, the daily chart was going down, but one hour chart and 30 were both flat. So in this case, I won't look at the lower time frames even. I won't look at it. I will just wait until one hour chart or 30 to go down, uh, Kumo and Kijun Sen go down, and start to look for a sell chance in smaller time frames, lower time frames for entry timing. So um, let's see, let me check a couple of other charts right now and see if we can find any trending market on other pairs. So how about Euro GBP? All right, Euro GBP daily chart looks to be downtrending. You can see that uh, the Senkospan B flat, but A is down and also Kijun Sen is down, price below the Kumo. This is nice confirmation for the downtrend. So in this case, we can expect the market continue to go down this way without retracing to Kijun Sen or Kumo because they are going down. So let's look at the one hour. Okay, one hour chart Euro GBP looks to be flat simply because B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen is flat right now. So the price might retrace back to Kijun Sen or it might retrace all the way back to the Kumo also. And that's why this is this is not the timing where you look for sell yet. So I would wait until Kijun Sen go down and also Senko Span B or Senko Span A go down and start to look for sell chance in even in lower time frames. So and let's look at the 30 minute chart also. I think 30 is also flat. Um yeah, looks like the 30 is also flat. So this is not really the time to look for sell chance for me. So let's look at the Euro JPY starting from the daily chart. All right, Euro J JPY daily chart looks to be flat. You see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So the price might come back to Kijun Sen or Kumo. And that's why I don't want to look for sell in this case. However, I look at the 4 hour chart also for the major trend confirmation. I take either daily or 4. If I find the daily chart to be downtrending or uptrending, then I will go down to the mid time frames. But uh, if not, if the daily chart um, is no trend, then I look at the 4 hour chart. So here on this Euro JPY and the daily chart is flat, so I look at the 4. And in 4 hour chart, I can still see that this is flat also. You see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen is flat. Um, Kijun Sen is overlapping with the candles, so let me cancel the candles. And there we go. We see Kijun Sen is flat, Kumo is flat. So this is 
no trend, so I won't even look at the lower time frames. And by doing this on these pairs, it'll only take like 5 minutes. So if I can present it how I do it, uh, 3 to 5 times a day, uh, this is how I do it. So here is Euro JPY. So let's move on to USD JPY. And at a glance, daily chart it's flat, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. And 4 hour chart, um, this is also flat. Price is in the Kumo now also. So I don't look for any buy or sell chance. So moving on to CAD JPY, starting from the daily chart, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. Let's see, 4 hour chart is also flat. Kumo in the Kumo, uh, candles in the Kumo now. So let's go to Euro AUD. Daily chart, it's also flat. Um, this is kind of tricky because um, you can see that the Kumo single span B flat, but A is down. Single span A is down and Kijun Sen is down. So you might see, think that this is downtrending, but actually not because this Kumo is bullish Kumo. So I would wait for the Kumo to be bearish. And if the single span A go down after this bearish Kumo, and Kijun Sen down this way, then I will take that. But still, the Kumo is bullish technically, so I will just wait for the downtrend confirmation. So that's a daily chart, and let's look at the 4 hour chart. In 4, it's flat. You see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So the price may come back to Kijun Sen or Kumo. So not the best timing to look for sell chance in this market. So let's move on to AUD USD. Daily chart. Flat Kumo, flat Kijun Sen, 4 hour chart, flat Kumo Kijun Sen. AUD JPY, daily chart, uh, it's flat. Kumo is flat, A is retracing, um, Kijun Sen is flat. So I won't look for sell. You see, when after the Kijun Sen start to be flat over from this candlestick, uh, the market is retracing backwards to Kijun Sen. And that's what it happens when you see flat Kijun Sen, and this is the reason why I won't look for sell chance, even the candles are below the Kijun Sen or, and also the Kumo. So that's a daily chart and four hour chart. It's flat. All right. And AUD CAD daily chart, this is flat Kumo Kijun Sen flat. And four, this is also flat Kumo Kijun Sen. And I leave the chart. <laughs> yeah, I won't do any further analysis. After I confirm this range in market, then I will just stay away. I will just come back to chart. So this is at 4 p.m. Japan time. So when I see this flat range in market, then I will just do um, other things and come back to chart at uh, 9 or 10 p.m. Japan time and see if I can find any trending market. And if I find any trending market at 9 or 10 p.m. Japan time, then I will look for some buying or selling edges and hopefully I set the break even and go to bed so that the price I expect the market to go towards my direction otherwise it retraces backwards but still I won't lose any money because I set the break even so that's my strategy and that's exactly present it step by step on this PDF so you can uh, download the PDF if you haven't done it yet and you can um, learn the way I look at the market and take trades uh, based on my everyday lives, or no more everyday, but um, I do the lives on Mondays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays. I do the lives. So you can always join my future lives and you can exactly um, see how I analyze these markets by KTS and also more deeper level of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo knowledge. So that will be it for today's video. So tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, I do the lives. So I hope to see you on the next live streams. And until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.